and these are my good names. We are from Square One, and this is our product, Wishy Washy. First of all, our objectives. Square One's objective is to provide solutions to to the society with tools that are environmental friendly, and our mission is to contribute to a greener lifestyle, a greener earth, and a healthier lifestyle. So now I'll be presenting to you our product, and Wishy Washy. Wishy Washy is our brush that is electronically motorized and this is to provide users with cleaner bottles in terms of cleaner bottles we want we are what we are trying to meet by clean is uh, we are focusing on bottle caps as well because it's not one of the concerns raised by many people bottle caps have tight and hard to reach spaces and so our brush is designed to clean the bottle caps as well as the bottle itself so why do we create this product? Uh, it's because there is a percentage of E. coli that might cause E. coli uh, in our water bottles with suitable uh, environment then they, the bacteria will survive. So this is the product that will be presenting. So I'll pass on to Hanson. Okay. Hi, my name is Hanson. So I'm going to talk about the strengths of our product. Firstly, reasonable price. So we set our product price at 35, which you all might think is a little bit high. But compared to our competitors, which is Tupperware, actually they're selling the same product, uh, brush, for 35 degrees or so. But here's the thing, their product is manual based compared to our product, which is electronic based. So if you have to spend same money on a product that's electronic based and a manual based, I think we we'll definitely go for the electronic based, right? Other than that, less competitors. So what are the chances that you can find this kind of product in Malaysia? I think at least you don't see this kind of product in somewhere else, city or somewhere pretty happy because the market for this is very rare in Malaysia. Uh, and then there are opportunities. So we are able to target eco-friendly supporters. So based on a research by Global Web Index, about 61% of Generation Y, they say that they will spend more money on a product that is eco-friendly compared to a product that is not eco-friendly. What I mean our product is eco-friendly is because our product is made out of reused metals and plastic. Other than that, our product also can reduce pollution. Like how? It's because based on other research, about 20,000 of plastic bottles have been, has been produced in every second. And only about 7% of the plastic bottles that have been used are in the recycle station. So with Wishy Washy, your water bottle can always stay clean in the long term. So you don't need to always buy a new water bottle and replace it. Okay, so competitive rivalry. As I mentioned before, we don't have a lot of competitor in the market as the product in the market is rare. But here's the thing, I think that our main competitor is Tupperware. Why? Because they have a huge a loyal customer base in Malaysia. Look around you, most of the most of the water bottles that you're using are, are Tupperware, right? So yeah. Other than that, Tupperware also has been matured in the market. Uh, they have been in the market since 2009, so it's about 11 years. So I think they can have a lot of uh, customers compared to us since we are a new startup. But here's the thing, their brush is metal brush and our brush is electronic brush. So I think we can stand out in the market more compared to them in the long term. So yeah, I'll pass it to Rui for more. Hi everyone, my name is Chiwi. So now we'll be presenting about the consumer analysis. Okay, so our company has segmented our customers uh, using two main categories, which is uh, demographic factor and psychographic factor. So for the demographic factor, our company focuses on the product, mostly on the woman. And the next is psychographic factor, which is lifestyle. We focus, uh, I mean the wishy-washy aim at people who want a clean and healthy lifestyle because uh, Wishy Washy can encourage to clean the uh, reusable bottles. And it's also quite convenient, uh, bring a lot of convenience to the user. And this product can be used by any gentle, but most of the sales force are from women because uh, women, of, women are more often to use and to purchase the cleaning product compared to men. Yeah, and most of the women work are housekeeping, maintaining and managing 
in the home. According to the former president of Taiwan, uh, he believed that what's good for women are good for business. And our and our company tends to maintain our position as innovation products. And now I pass to Chasini. So now I'm Chasini, and I'll be talking about the promotional tips, which we'll be using advertising. So first of all, since today is a tech savvy generation, people nowadays often use uh, their phone rather than going to the store physically. So we will post and short engaging video to attract customer attention. We'll post it through Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. People are now aware, are more often uh, going through their Facebook and other social media platforms rather than going out with their friends because they spend more time on their phone uh, going through like memes, videos to, yeah, um, to, to, attract, uh, to attract customer attention. So for Facebook, we'll be posting a short engaging video and then the customers are able to purchase it online. Not only by that, we have an Instagram page where people are able to go inside and check and know more details about it, which they can also purchase it through that. But then we, get, we also have a physical store which is convenient for customers to purchase it physically because some customers rather buy it uh, choose to buy it at this, uh, physically rather than online because they think that getting to touch the item is more reliable compared to purchasing it online. And this will lead us to gaining profit from both platforms, which is physical store as well as uh, social media. Yeah, now I'll pass it back to Mantik. Hi, I'm Mantik and I'll be talking about the financial part. So generally, our product will be selling at 25 in the first, 25 ringgit in the first year, 26 ringgit in the second year, and then 28 ringgit in the third year. So, during the first year, we have a loss. The main explanation for this is the uh, tax and regulations. Um, moreover, that will contribute to the loss of the company startup. So, because we have to be giving more for permit, and it is a uh, hard thing for startups to have financial financial uh, support. So the first in the first year we have a loss of twenty five thousand ringgit and we sold around fifty two hundred units and cost per unit is fifteen ringgit. So in the second year we have we'll be starting to gain traction and sell around 11,000 units, which is an estimated of earning 42,000 ringgit. <coughs> and we will contribute more to advertisement, as what Charles said just now, uh, advertisement to gain more uh, knowledge for our product. <laughs> okay, so it's around 8,000 for the advertisement and moving on to the third year we are forecasted to be earning around 91,000 and selling around 14,000 units uh, in the second year we will be putting more effort on marketing uh, marketing promotion to uh, to gain more attraction for our product as well it's, a, it's around budgeted around 8,000 ringgit so I'll pass on to Chow for the conclusion. So to conclude everything, this product is basically a brush which is eco-friendly and it's very convenient mm -hmm. for customers to use it, especially paying the caps of the Tupperware because it is definitely not easy to clean it by using a sponge. And it is convenient for customers to tra bring it through travel if they are going to stay for like quite some time. And people need to acknowledge about keeping their hygiene especially their water bottles because based on research given it says that not much people really use a sponge to uh, really use a brush to clean it. Thank you. Thank you.